Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, um, what we're going to do is give you some driving test day tips here because tomorrow is um, Ryzen's actual driving test. And uh, what's happened in previous videos, uh, we have taken Linus for test day because we get there just in time and I'm just rushing, r rushing the uh, advice beforehand because we've got to get uh, inside the test center ready for the test yeah so yeah i decided to do this one a day before so we've got plenty of time to obviously give you guys and give rajan the advice that i normally give to learners just before they go for their test yeah and then um, i get loads of messages from people saying i've got my test tomorrow um what advice would you give me there's loads of pointers so i've, I've got i've written them down so i don't forget there's about 10 10 points yeah 10 pieces of uh, advice which will help you out on the day of your actual driving test so firstly raj how are you feeling uh, i feel confident but nervous at the same time like it's weird to explain because i feel like it's just hit me today <laughs> like this morning when i woke up but at the same time, I feel confident because I've been over everything. I've covered it like multiple times and there's nothing else I really can do. Just I, I reckon I'll pass, give it my best. So we've done the mock test. The mock tests have been good. I think both of those feelings, what you said, being nervous and confident, that's a good mixture. Yeah, yeah There's always going to be a bit of nerves. Yeah. yeah? And uh, the confidence is good because you, you have, we have covered everything. Yeah, you've been yeah. over everything. There's not really a week early we can say oh this is this still needs a lot of work on or this needs some work on yeah everything's at a decent standard yeah it's all yeah. down to you now yeah but yeah. the few um things that i'm going to go through now will if you take them on board they will help you out here yeah, on the actual um, test day yeah. obviously the main thing is you've got at hand is the ultimate driving course yeah, yeah. which um just make sure anything that's still not 100 percent with you yeah just have a quick watch over, over the videos yeah okay okay yeah. right so um Let's, uh, let, let's start with these uh, uh, pointers, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, if I can read my handwriting. Oh, yeah, okay, right, so uh, the first thing, obviously, your test is tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. And make sure, you know, tonight, you've got all your documents ready, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what you've got to take, yeah, it's mainly your driving license. Okay, yeah. your, your provisional, provisional yeah, yeah, your provisional license, yeah, okay. And your theory test pass tape, have you still got that? Yeah. That bring along with you, to be honest, they don't normally look at that at all, yeah, but it, it's good to have in the car. You know if there's any mix-up with your test? Yeah. Yeah, and they, they sometimes ask for the details about your theory pass certificate, yeah. That's only happened to me once in all the years I've been um, um, uh, teaching and, and, and taking learners for tests, yeah. where one of the learners, um, we were waiting there, and the examiner didn't uh, come out, and then they, um, they asked for some extra details, like the, the theory test certificate, and then they found out that the test had been um, rearranged. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So um, that and um, also with that, yeah. Um, you know the the day before. So it is, which is today. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what a lot of people start doing last minute. Yeah, they start overthinking stuff and stressing. Yeah. Don't. There's nothing. Well, like after like today. Yeah? yeah. Even if you do do a short lesson after this video, yeah. Nothing else you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Part of you you can you can like we just mentioned the ultimate driving course. You can watch the videos on there. Yeah. But don't overdo with different types of videos, loads yeah. of different videos because it's gonna get confusing. Yeah. It's like um, for those of you watching, um, even if you haven't all downloaded the ultimate driving course, if you got if you got your test coming up, yeah. So if you've been watching my videos, try not to confuse like. <sighs> Like each instructor is going to have their own teaching techniques, yeah. So if you're watching my videos and other three or four instructors, we might give you why, obviously, for example, the parallel parking, yeah? yeah. I've got my own technique, yeah, which worked, worked, worked for you. If you watch another video, they might have a different technique and you you might just get totally confused, yeah. yeah? So just don't start watching any new videos, okay, uh, tonight. Okay. Okay. Or, yeah. to, or or tomorrow morning before you test. Yeah. Okay. Stick the ones that you've already watched and learnt from. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that next um, tomorrow your test is at twelve twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. So arriving on time. That's obviously down to your instructor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, that's. Uh, so for those of you who aren't going for it or uh, for your test with an instructor and are taking your own car yeah just make sure you, you're there you don't want to be too early yeah so you can get there early but don't enter the car park um of the test center um 
So your test at twelve twenty eight, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna enter it just uh, no more than ten minutes before. Yeah, okay. So the earliest we're gonna go in there is twelve eighteen. So okay, ideal time is about uh, twenty past. Yeah. The reason yeah. why I say that, guys, because other learners um, will be coming back from the test, and if you go in there too early, you just uh, you're blocking their their path. Yeah. Yeah, and obstructing them. Okay, and examiners don't like that, yeah. yeah. So, so you don't want to be too late, but don't go in too early. Get yeah. there early, wait outside the test t test centre. Yeah. Yeah, and we're only going to go into the car park where once um, we know all the learners have come back, yeah, and like I said, not too early, yeah. Okay. Right, um, have you got, well, obviously I'm going through the points, so have you got any questions about tomorrow? No. Yeah, so yeah. obviously I've explained what happens. Yeah. I'm going to go there. Um, like I said, just about 10 minutes before the uh, actual test, we're going to enter the car park. We're going to walk in and then we're going to um, wait in the waiting room for the examiner to come out. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. He's going to, uh, he or she will take you on the test. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Next point. Right. One that I always say, do not be afraid of the examiners. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, have you heard any stories about examiners or any of your friends said anything about examiners or what's your main image of examiners? I don't know. I would say that they'd be harsh, but then at the same time, you're harsh as well. So like, I don't know. I, I don't think it'll be much different. I think it'll just be a weird feeling because obviously you're my uncle. I'm like, so used to driving around with you with a whole different person it probably just it will be a bit different yeah mm. right. like you said examiners on the marking I don't think they're too harsh with their marking yeah, yeah? and in general the examiners especially here at Wolverhampton they're quite friendly yeah as yeah. well but if you make a serious mistake you will be marked as a serious mistake yeah, yeah there's no way you're going to do something serious or dangerous and the examiner's going to let you off with it yeah yeah Okay, and that's that's down to you. That's not the exam. If you don't do anything serious, yeah, there's no way the examiner can be harsh with the fault. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and like I said, harsh. So you know, you know, like you said, I'm quite harsh as well. I've I've actually said that in the videos as well. You know, with the marking. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a fifty-fifty, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna mark it as a serious because I want yeah. you guys to learn from me, and I don't want it to happen in your actual test. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. Personally, I don't think the examiners mark as harsh as I do in our, yeah. <laughs> in yeah. our mark test, which is a which is a good thing, yeah. yeah. But don't be afraid of the examiners, yeah. Yeah. Like they do, you know. If you're unsure about something, yeah, you, know, you, uh, you can ask them, and they they do help you out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah? And this is going to lead us on to some of the uh, other points, like for example, just just said, yeah. If you're not sure, say if you're not sure of a direction. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure well beforehand. Ask the okay. examiner. Yeah. Okay. Not last minute because that's going to be too late. Yeah. Yeah. As well beforehand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if there's anything, yeah, on your um, uh, when you're on your driving test, yeah. For example, say if you're about to enter a roundabout and you're or emerge out of a junction. Yeah. And you're fifty-fifty. What's the best thing to do? Don't take it. That's it. Don't take a risk. Okay. Yeah. Anything yeah. that's fifty-fifty, just don't do it. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, you could get a markdown for hesitation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there is a clear gap. Okay, but if there isn't a clear gap and someone approaches quite fast or, or puts their foot on the gas and you emerge out and slow them down, then yeah. that would be a serious. Okay. Yeah, so rather you get marked for hesitation than get a serious for blocking someone's path. Okay. Yeah, or slowing someone down. Yeah. Okay. Right, um, the other thing, obviously we've been through on your lessons uh, when following the sat-nav, yeah? Guys, when you guys are on your test and you're following the sat-nav, make sure you're familiar with the um, distances. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You, you've shown in the mock test that you've followed the sat-nav quite well. Yeah. Yeah, and um, uh, sometimes the sat-nav, your turn will be like a mile away and the sat-nav will start saying to you, keep right. Yeah. That's just way too early. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let it get to if you're on a dual carriageway and it's asking you to keep right, let the distance get down to around 400 yards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, just make sure you you look at the sat nav as well. Don't just if the sat nav says bear right, just make sure you know how far that turn is before you do. Okay. Position for the right turn. 
Absolutely. Yeah, no yeah. point uh, positioning so, so early if your teams are like I said really really far away. Yeah. Okay. Right that. Um the other thing, um so we we've covered most of the test routes. Yeah. yeah? Which is obviously it does make it a little bit easier. Yeah. yeah. But on the again on the flip side, it can uh, I find learners, you know when they're in an area that they know. Yeah. For example, guys, when you uh, finish a driving lesson and you end up on your street at home, you get really comfortable. Yeah. yeah? And because you, you, you think you know the area, you don't really pay attention. Yeah. Okay. And that's when a mistake can creep in. Okay. So okay, does yeah. it matter if you if you've been on that road many times before? Yeah. Just just imagine you're driving in a new area. You're always looking out for signs and markings. So yeah. continue looking out for signs and markings throughout. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Signs, markings, hazards. Just keep looking out for them, yeah. As soon as you enter a new road, well, well, uh, if there are signs there, could be new speed limit signs, could be one-way signs. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you're looking out for signs all the time. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And, um, right, um, again, you've, you've um, uh, heard me mention this many times before, yeah. So, you know, if you're on your driving test, yeah, and um, you were supposed to turn right around about, yeah. But you, I don't know, for some reason you switched off, yeah, and you forgot. Yeah. And now you've approached the roundabout and you're in the left hand lane. Yeah, but you were supposed to turn right at the roundabout. What would you do? And then uh, go left. That's it. Go left or straight ahead, whichever way yeah. that lane um, takes you, yeah. Okay. Okay, as long yeah. as you've got the correct signal on, yeah. Because going the wrong way isn't a fault. Yeah. Yeah, so if you do find yourself, ideally you, do, you don't want to end up in that situation, but if you do find yourself in that situation, and you do have to go the wrong way, it's not a fault here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah. what would happen if you went, if you use that left lane and around about to turn right, what would happen then? I'd fail. Yeah, that'd be a serious one. You could also, obviously, even if you check your mirrors, you've just, and you've made sure it's safe, you've still showed that you've, you've, uh, you think it's okay to use the left lane to turn right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in that kind of situation, it's okay to go the wrong way. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Final one, really. At no point uh, during your driving test, think that you've messed up and failed, yeah, okay. and uh, which will lead you to giving up. Yeah, yeah? <laughs> this happened with a learner before. Yeah, so um, this is about ten minutes into their test, and they thought they'd done a serious fault, so they just stopped. Yeah, and they were. They, he got really angry with himself. Said to the examiner, "I'm not doing it anymore. I've now messed up." And the examiner's like, are you sure? Yeah? Yeah. Linda goes, yes, I don't want to continue with the test. Yeah? So all the examiner could do is walk out the car and had to walk back to the test centre. Luckily, it wasn't too, too far away because oh. the learner was just saying, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Lena was upset. Yeah? And so the examiner's come back. And I thought, what's happened here? And the examiner's told me, look, the learner's parked here. The learner thought they'd messed up. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, but guess what? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they had, that was the worst thing about it. Yeah. The examiner said to me, Pin, um, the lane had made a, uh, it was a minor fall, nothing serious. Yeah. But they thought it was a serious and they didn't want to continue with the test, so. Yeah. <laughs> you just lose, even like sometimes on my mocks though, like when I start talking to you afterwards about all the thoughts, I keep them on my mind and it does, it's not like giving up, but you feel like you just lose a bit of confidence. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just Look, like that. I, I've had so many people go for the actual test, yeah, and think they've failed yeah but they've passed they're like oh i've never driven so bad and i've passed yeah yeah like your your driving standard is quite high now yeah yeah like uh, i like to think anyone that i take for a driving test yeah their standard is 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 quite good so even yeah. if it does drop on the day a little bit you're still more than good enough to pass yeah yeah like if you stall and that just react well yeah yeah well, obviously if the examiner grabs the steering or intervenes by pressing the foot brake then, then you know yeah then you know it's uh it's serious yeah yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, one other thing, just make sure you, obviously you're only going to get one maneuver on the test, yeah? Yeah. Be, um, when the examiner should do the maneuver, take a few seconds out just to think, yeah? Um, what what technique you use, yeah. yeah? Where your observations should be, yeah? And what your reference points are. Okay. And then start the maneuver. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. sometimes people get the reference points mixed up with other maneuvers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anything else no. that you want to, uh, any questions or anything you're not sure about? No. Yeah? 
all yeah. set for tomorrow? Yeah. Good. So, um, yeah, that's it. The final time we're filming before his uh, actual test day. So, yeah, just want to say good luck. And the guys, what you reckon? You reckon Rajan will pass or fail tomorrow? Drop us a comment. Right then. <laughs> so, uh, that's it, guys. Like always, thanks a lot for watching. For any of you who have got your driving tests coming up, wishing you good luck here. Yeah. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.